For the BEV solutions, nitrogen generators uh, are used in beer systems to help push the beer from keg to tap. An another commonly used method is straight CO2, but CO2 is an actual ingredient in the beer, so it'll sometimes have a foaming effect, which means you have a great deal of waste. By adding nitrogen, we do what's called a blended gas between CO2 and nitrogen, and it allows the beer to be pushed by an inert gas, which is nitrogen, which doesn't create foaming, so you have less waste, so you actually have more usable beer in your keg. A nitrogen generator, whether it be a lease or, or a purchase, you, you can have a, a, two to, a two to three year return on investment on the purchase of a nitrogen generator. In, in a lease perspective, um, which is another way to do it, which many restaurants do, you, what you pay per month, we more than save you in waste, in beer waste. Because the bar that's just on CO2, there's, there's a problem with foaming. So uh, most customers on high pressure cylinders, whether it be nitrogen or CO2, usually get about 70% keg yield. So that means 30% of that beer is left in the keg or wasted. Uh, with nitrogen generation in a balanced system, you, you don't have those issues. The keg yield goes up to 90, 93, 95%. So if you think with the same amount of purchases, if you can increase your income by 20 to 30%, everyone would do it. And that's what, what we bring to the table is the ability to, to give them a positive cash flow on their current purchases, not, not adding any more expense. Even though, yes, it does cost money to buy or lease uh, our equipment, it pays for itself.